to me, like I've noticed because I've had different IVs in different places, but the most painful ones I remember were the ones in the top of my hand. Oh, it's just really man. painful there. I don't know my, why. my mom's had because uh my mom's veins hide and she says that like that's like 10 times worse than yeah, no, like the, and especially if they can't if they have a hard time finding the vein it's like painful you know and yeah because they, yeah. they they keep puncturing it's almost like the feeling of your hair getting pulled extremely hard mixed with like pain i guess if that makes sense you know it's like getting pulled to the extreme because that's what's happening your skin's getting pulled inward uh, I think for me, uh, two experiences come to mind, but one in particular was, so when I was about to go to St. Mary's, um, there was this um, activity that's done beforehand where you get to go see the university and you get to sleep over. It's called sleeping back weekend. And that first night you get to stay with a resident. So somebody that lives there that uh, has a open um, bed. That same day, he had some uh, leftover pizza that was cold. And so I go and get, I, he offered it. And so I ate some pizza that same night when I was, I was trying to sleep, my stomach was just like burning. Right. You're like, oh, but, you know, I'm, it, it was like, it was like, they were like setting on fire my stomach Man, and a- anywhere that I moved, like it would burn. But after a couple of minutes, like it like went away. And so it was just like, it was not even minutes, maybe like two or three hours. So it was not that bad. I had pizza again from the same place. And man, dude, that night, I'm telling you, I got worse. at 8 p.m., at 8 p.m., I started having these pains, like really bad pains in my stomach to the point where like at 10 p.m. when I was trying to go to sleep, I was trying to lay down and either way that I try to move, it was like burning inside of my stomach. It was like, at this point, it was like, like, I don't know, 10 like, or 20 times worse than like the, the week before. Couldn't get comfortable no matter what. And I, I couldn't get comfortable. And the only comfortable position was like, like a fetal position. Uh, double it, it was not until six in the morning that I told my parents to take me to the hospital. This was like in high school. And so uh, it was 8 p.m., 6 a.m. So eight hours had transcended since since the, right? Eight hours, four. It's a long time. Eight, four, no, like 10 hours. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, 10 hours had passed, and I was still, like, holding the pain down. But I, I told my parents, like, hey, I, I need to go to a hospital. And so they, they took me over. Man, like the only thing that would comfort me was like a blanket that I had and I would place it near my stomach and that would provide some comfort. But yeah. like it it felt, I don't even know if to, to say like I, glass inside my stomach or something like that. Like it was so bad. So finally, like somebody take a doctor takes me in and they check me and they're like, oh, your your appendix is about to burst. We have to remove it right now. And so I had to go through the whole morphine and like all these crazy drugs and stuff. Um, And yeah, I mean, I got it removed, but that was probably one of the times that uh, it was like so bad that I couldn't handle the pain anymore. Yeah. It couldn't function. It was almost unbearable. Yeah. 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 It's I'm telling you, it's like having like crystals inside of your stomach, like puncturing out and like, let's say like you have like acid in your stomach and it's just like burning it was an extreme pain like the worst pain like i i sat up and it like i felt the nerve or something get stretched or moved or pinched the wrong way and then the whole rest of the day it was extremely painful like it was so painful that i was telling my mom i'm gonna have to go to the hospital because like i don't even know what to do like i can barely move like i could barely walk because if i move the wrong way it felt like someone was taking uh, a knife with like the jagged teeth edges on it and scraping it against the nerves in my back. You know, that's exactly what it felt like. And I've never felt now that I really think about it. I don't know if I felt pain that extreme. That might even be worse than the pain with the tube going up my private area. Honestly, now that I really think about it, because like whenever it hit that certain nerve, it was like, 
maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a nerve. Maybe that's why it was so painful because it's like the nerve itself. And I remember it was funny because I, I had to go to high school that day, you know, and I was walking with my friend to the car to go drive to the other because we went to another school as part of the high school for other classes that they didn't have at the high school. And so I would ride with him. I remember really going in the parking lot, like I moved, I was like, oh, and he's like, what, what's wrong? Like, I couldn't catch my breath because it was so painful. So I couldn't even talk. He was like, yeah. what the, he was like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I'm like, I, I messed up my back like really bad. So like, I don't know, like back pain is pretty common for a lot of people. I don't know if you've ever experienced that or not. But. Yeah. Like one time, um, since I'm pretty tall, I got this party. I, I wanted to start doing face painting. The little kids are still pretty small. And so I had to be bending down to like face paint them. And sometimes I, I was at the point where I would just kneel and they would be like almost at my height. After a while. <laughs> and so, so it was two hours of doing that. And after those two hours, I'm telling you, man, it was like this pain that I could not, it, it was especially the next day. Like I didn't feel it too much then like I, I could feel a little bit of pain but the next day when I woke up I was just like oh man like it was just this pain in my back that I it was kind of hard to walk and you know I don't know if you ever heard about like uh stomach migraines no I haven't no but I've had stomach those, migraines. yeah I didn't know I didn't know even know it was a stomach migraine until my mom told me that my doctor a long time ago told me that I, my pediatrician had told me that I did have stomach migraines because I remember like periods of time, even a few years back recently, where I'd have just the stomach pain in the middle of my stomach and nothing could seem to relieve it. It was just, just come out of nowhere and it would be extremely like, almost like a knife, but like kind of a cold knife pain. And it was just so uncomfortable because it, it made me not want to do anything. Like